This is the unofficial AYAB interface setup guide for Brother 910 knitting machines. Uh, I say unofficial because there is an official version. It is in German. This one will be in English. AYAB is an open source project to retrofit old knitting machines so they can be controlled by computer. When I say AYAB interface, I mean this guy. You may have purchased one of these from Etsy or bought one secondhand. If you have one of these long skinny ones, that's going to be a different video. This video is mostly for me. I was getting set up for development and I reversed one of my connectors and then I got frustrated with the lack of documentation. So now there will be a guide in English available for all of y'all as well. The interface is an Arduino shield, which means that you need an Arduino to go with it. You will also need a USB-B cable. There's a link to the Arduino and the USB cable in the description. Before we get started, the first thing you should do is make sure that your machine works in its current condition. Before you take all of the parts out and you swap out the guts, make sure it does what it's supposed to. You don't want to be debugging later on, only to find out that it's a problem with the machine and not with the new hardware that you're introducing. All right, let's get started. Remove any tension masks and tools from the machine. Then make sure it's turned off and unplugged. There are four Phillips head screws on the top of the machine. You need to remove all of them. Put these somewhere safe, you'll need them later. Remove all of the panels, starting with the one on the right. Be careful with the leftmost panel, that's where all of your connectors are. Gently remove all of these connectors. Don't pull on the wires. Gently squeeze either side of the plastic connector and it should disconnect. Put this panel aside, you won't need it later. On to the interface. Starting with S2, hook it up to the top right pins. Then S3 goes right below that. Make sure the labels are facing you. Now grab S5 and making sure it's facing the left, hook it up to the pins on the other side. The black wire on the long connector should be on the bottom. Plug it into S7. Finally, the power connector. It can only go in one way. My wires are a little short, so I have to contort the interface to get it to fit. Gently pull the interface out of the way. Cover the remaining connectors and electronics so they won't get in the way or cause a short. I'm using old junk mail. Now we're going to put the rest of the covers back on, starting with the middle one. I hope you kept track of those screws. You'll need them now. The biggest screw goes over by the card reader. The screw with the longest shank goes over on the left. And the other two are exactly the same. You can download the AYAB desktop software from their website. There's a link in the description. There's a bug on the Mac that means you have to launch it from the terminal. There's a link to how to do this in the description. Plug your Arduino in. And then load up an image file. The software comes bundled with digitized versions of the original Brother 910 Mylar patterns. I'm picking this one that looks like a maze. Hit refresh on the port selection and it should automatically find your Arduino. We want to make sure the Arduino software is up to date, so we'll flash it with the latest firmware. This takes a few seconds. Now we're good to go. Plug the machine back in and turn it on. Click configure and knit to start the software. Change your carriage to KC1 or 2, and then cross the turn mark. When you hear one long beep, stop. Two beeps mean the pattern is loaded and you can start knitting. You should hear a beep at the end of every row. The desktop software will advance automatically.
four beeps means the pattern is done. Here we are, we have working AYAB on a Brother 910 knitting machine. This should also work for the Brother 930, but I haven't had the chance to test it. If you've gotten to this point and you're still having problems, I would recommend checking out the Ravelry group for AYAB or the Facebook group. There are links to both in the description. If you do wind up setting up AYAB, let me know what you make with it. I'm really curious to see what other people do with this software. Happy knitting! I don't want to make this video today. I was going to make a different video, but this kind of had to happen. All right. All right, we're done here.